Uh, in uh, this video, we're going to discuss about the application of the Kirchhoff's voltage law in the graph theory. Uh, in the previous uh, video, we have uh, discussed how to form the Dyson matrix uh, from the given graph. Now, in this session, we're going to discuss about the application of the Kirchhoff's voltage law in the graph theory. So, if uh, L is the number of the loops, uh, then the, there will be uh, L number of uh, KVL equation, Kirchhoff's voltage law equation. And then the summarized equation can be written as summation of uh, PHK, VK is equal to zero. And then H is equal to the is a number of loop here. And then where uh, BHK is the element uh, for the Dyson matrix P. And uh, this is small letter B is again the number of the branches. This is the summarized uh, form of the, the application of the KVL in the graph theory. And uh, okay, VK is the column that uh, now here we have again VK, it is the column matrix of the loop voltage. And the set of L KVL equation is given by now is same as B times the matrix B times VK is equal to zero. You have this. <clears throat> and this summation, like uh, this equation, if you write in a form of matrix, uh, we can write like this Dyson matrix times the column uh, matrix is also called as a vector, right? The column matrix is equal to zero, where VK is the branch voltage, V1, V2, or till VK is, is the branch voltage or the branch matrix. The voltage matrix for this one. Okay, let's consider this figure 4a. Now, how to apply the uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law in case of the graph theory? If you consider this uh, this network here, consider figure 4a. Now, this is figure 4a. Using the trick or the branch one, two, and three, form a T as shown in figure 4b. Now. From the tree, now we are going to form the uh, fundamental loop, and then from the fundamental loop, we are going to form this kind of matrix. Now, this is the application of the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now, in from this graph, okay, we are selecting uh, the branch one, two, and three, and we are forming one T. Okay, it is not necessary that we have to select one, two, and three. You can select any of the branch and then form a T. And then add a link. Now in the tree, you have branch one, two, and three. In a tree, you can add the link four, five, and six. Okay. If you const if you are considering this figure, we have link now. If you form a T using one, two, and three branch, then other remaining branches are called uh, link, right? Four, five, and six are called link. So we have to at the link four in the first one, and we're forming the fundamental loop one. And then again, if we add the loop, uh, the link five, again, we are forming the fundamental uh, loop two. And then again, we're also adding the link six, and then forming the uh, fundamental loop uh, three. Now, here, I've also given the direction here, this, the loop current direction. And then with the help of this loop current direction, then we can form the, uh, we can apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law. It's the same thing that we're applying in the, the normal solution. So in this uh, branch link four and this loop current are in same direction, right? So we can give plus four, V4, okay. Before that, I'm also assuming that this V1, V2, V3 till V6 are the branch voltage for the given uh, network. So this uh, link current, uh, this loop current, and then the link current are in the same direction. I'm giving positive for the branch two. They are in opposite direction. So this is coming like this, in this clockwise direction. This is going anti-clockwise direction. So I'm giving negative V2. Similarly, for the uh, branch one, it's negative V1. Whereas for this branch, three, then link five and link six, there's no relationship with this fundamental loop one. So I'm giving zero V3, zero V5, and then zero V6. 
So if you summarize this equation, okay, we have to again equate it to zero. We are applying the KV, right? The summation of the voltage in that loop should be equal to zero. Is what KVL says. And then if we again uh, simplify this one, we will have minus V1 minus V2 plus V4 is equal to zero. So I'm giving this one as equation one. And then for the loop two, again, uh, you can uh, write like this, and then you can summarize, you can again simplify this, and then we'll get like this. And uh, similarly for the uh, fundamental loop three. <coughs> and then from there, okay. From there, while we are uh, forming the while we are forming the matrix, okay, we have uh, the the VK. This is the VK, and the matrix, which means this the coefficients of this V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6 are the elements of the Tyson matrix. So while forming the matrix we need this detail expansion of that uh, the loop or equation so here we have minus one minus one zero plus one zero and zero and uh, is equal to is equating with the zero so let's check with the first row here minus one minus one so we have minus one minus one and then again we have uh, the third element is zero fourth one is plus one Fourth one is plus one, and then last two are zero zero. So this are zero zero. And then if you multiply this one with this, you'll get this. And then again, we're equating it with the zero. So this is the equation that we have. And then if you again simplify this one, this is called the Tyson matrix, the matrix P, and these are the branch voltage or the link voltage which is the column matrix. So this is VB or in uh, this expression, I think it was VK. So this is the VK, it's just a name, it doesn't matter. So V make a time at, uh, Tyson matrix times the, the branch matrix, branch voltage matrix is equal to zero. This is the application of the cable. Now let's try to solve one of the, uh, okay, this network using the uh, the graph theory, the Kirchhoff's, uh, now in this case, we can uh, apply the ties because we have covered only ties and matrix and the application of the KV. So we can uh, apply the ties and matrix here and then also apply the KV and then you will try to find the branch current and the branch voltage. We can also find the loop current and then the node voltage as well. Okay, we will solve this one in our next uh, video.